Now see principle of conservation of angular momentum already we have discussed in previous topics. Let us see it again. We have got L is equal to I omega. So, we can write here d L upon d t is equal to I into d omega upon d t differentiating with respect to time. So, we will be getting d L upon d t is equal to I alpha which is equal to torque. If external torque is equal to 0 in isolated system, then we can write L is equal to constant. It means if a in any system external torque is equal to 0, then its angular momentum remains constant. And if angular momentum remains constant, so we can write I 1 omega 1 is equal to I 2 omega 2 is equal to like this you can take here. So, this one is very important relation to explain certain concepts. You might have seen ballet dancers, you know when the ballet dancers dances on the floor, sometimes they out, out stretches their hand and leg and sometimes they fold their hands and leg. So, if you take this relation I 1 omega 1 is equal to I 2 omega 2. Suppose a ballet dancer is dancing and in that case she has stretched his hand and leg. In that case moment of inertia is larger and it has got certain angular velocity. If she folds his hands, what happens? Moment of inertia reduces if the moment of inertia reduces because r reduces here. So, if we can write omega 2 is 2 is equal to i 1 omega 1 upon i 2. So, as moment of inertia reduces what happens to his angular velocity it increases. So, ballet dancer manipulate his, manipulates her angular velocity or his spinning velocity with the help of folding his hands or stretching his hands and legs. So, this is an example of conservation of angular momentum.